Hello friends, this is Anu Chahan. Now we'll talk about Cord's role in this video. Cord's role, Dr. E. F. Cord is an I IBM researcher who first developed the relational data model in 1970. In 1985, Dr. Cord published a list of 12 roles that define an ideal relational database and has provided a guideline for the design of all relational database systems. So for this guideline, it is defined what is required from a database management system in order for it to be a considered relation. So now we'll talk about the rules line by line. So the rule zero is foundation rule. It states that system must be able to manage database entirely through its relational capabilities. If the system is relational or if the cap capabilities is more powerful so the system must be able to manage databases entirely through its relational capabilities now rule one is the information rule so information rule this rule simply require requires that uh, all data should be presented in table form rows and columns have to be strictly unordered so this is the basis of relational model says all the information in a relational database is represented explicitly in its logical form rows and column form now rule 2 rule 2 guaranteed access guaranteed access each information in database must be accessible by table name primary key and attributes columns like in uh, i square or sql uh, queries that is uh, select star from table name so guaranteed access all data should be accessible without ambiguity this can be accomplished through a combination of table name primary key and a column name now rule third is systematic treatment of null systematic treatment of null the rdbms relational database management system must support the null values to represent missing information they must be distinct from zero or spaces. They must be independent of data val value. So null value means missing data, not applicable or no value. Now rule fourth is online catalog or dynamic online catalog based on relational model. System catalog is a collection of tables that system DBMS maintain for its own use. This table holds the description of structure of database. These tables are created on and maintained by DBMS like uh, data, data about data or data dictionary metadata. Now rule fourth, rule uh, fifth. Rule fifth is powerful language. Like SQL, we must be able to access the data from SQL. So Comprehensive data sub language rule the database must support at least one clearly defined language that includes functionality for data definition, data manipulation, data integrity, and data transaction control. All commercial relational databases use forms of SQL as they are supported comprehensive language. Now our sixth rule. Our sixth rule is view updation rule. View updation rule. View is a virtual table temporarily derived from base table. Data can be presented in different logical combination called views. Each view should support the same full range of data manipulation that has direct access to a table available. Now rule 7th. Rule 7th is relational level operations or higher level update delete insert operation so in this data can be retrieved from a relational database insights constructed of data from data from multiple rows and or multiple tables this rule states that insert update and delete operation should be supported for any retrieval set rather than just for a single row in a single table so relational level operations 
so there are many uh, other operations like union in intersection etc so now rule 8th rule 8th is physical data independence so physical data independence the user is isolated from the physical method of, of storing and ret retrieving information from the database changes can be made to the underlying architecture without affecting how the user accessed it so the physical storage of data should be should not matter to the system now rule 9th rule 9th is logical data independence so it is implemented through views logical data independence how data is viewed should not be changed when the logical structure uh, tables structure of the database changes so this rule is particularly difficult to satisfy so now rule 10th rule 10th is integrity independence integrity independence data should be able to enforce its own integrity rather than using other program so integrity independence the database language like sql should support constraints on users input the maintain database integrity to maintain database integrity no component of a primary key can have a null value if a foreign key in define one table any value in its any value in it must ex 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 exit as a primary key in another table so uh, integrity independence database should be able to enforce its own integrity on correctness consistent rather than using other program so it should be able of its own rather than another uh, other program so now rule 11th is distribution independence distribution independence means database must allow manipulation of da distribution data located in an an other other uh, computer system so database should work properly regardless of its distribution access a network now our last is non subversion rule non subversion rule if low level access is allowed to a system it should not be able to bypass its integrity rule to change data so there should not there should be no way to modify the database structure other than through the multiple row database sql database language most databases today support administrative tools that allow some direct manipulation of data structure so non subversion rule thanks for watching this video if you like like it please subscribe it thanks